Maize, commonly known as corn, is a powerhouse raw material used to produce a variety of essential industrial and pharmaceutical products like starch, sorbitol, dextrose, liquid glucose, maltose dextrose, etc. If you are looking for high growth and export oriented business, this video will become a roadmap for you on setting up a manufacturing unit for maize derived products. Let's start with why you should start this maize processing industry. The maize processing industry is a multi billion dollar market, catering to industries like pharmaceuticals, used in medicines, syrups, and excipients, food and beverage, sweeteners, baking, confectionery, paper and textile used in adhesives and coatings. Cosmetics and personal care, used in lotions, creams, and shampoos. Additionally, maize is readily available at competitive prices in India. Rising health consciousness is driving the demand for natural sweeteners like dextrose and sorbitol. Government subsidies make agro-processing businesses highly profitable. Global demand dextrose and sorbitol is rising, particularly in India, the USA, China, and European countries. India alone produces 30 plus million tons of maize annually, which makes it a strong contender for maize-based product manufacturing. With India producing maize in high quantity, India exports starch and dextrose to Southeast Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. Looking at sorbitol and liquid glucose, they are widely used in international pharmaceutical and food industries. Because of these reasons, this industry offers high profit margins and long-term sustainability, and governments are giving incentives for agro-based processing units. Before moving up to the opportunities, let's talk about technical things like what are the main processing methods of maize and machines required to do so for every product made from maize. Processing of maize. Maize is primarily processed through two methods. Quit milling. This process helps in separating components by soaking maize kennels in warm water to soften them to separate into various components such as starch, germ, gluten, fiber, and protein. Dry milling. This process involves grinding dry maize kernels into components like cornmeal, grits, and flour. It is also used for food applications. Machinery requirements with benefits of products. Before making any product, maize goes through machines for cleaning and preparation for other products. Let's quickly go through it. Rotary screeners slash drum sieves, remove large impurities, stones, husks. Magnetic separators, eliminates metal contaminants. Jigging machines, wet detoning after dry cleaning. Germ separators, extract germ for oil processing. Grinding mills, reduce maize kernels to coarse particles, pin mills, deGerming mills. Now maize is ready for producing other products. Let's talk about its products one by one in detail. Maize starch. Maize starch is a form of carbohydrate that is extracted from the maize kennel, from endosperm. It is a white, tasteless, and odorless powder. Starch is an ingredient used in the manufacturing of various products. Maize undergoes a wet milling process. We are going to cover machines included in this process in short. Steeping tanks, to soak maize in sulfite solution. Hydrocyclones, to refining the starch slurry. Centrifugal separators, orco separators, to separate starch from gluten, high capacity, energy efficient. Gluten thickeners, to concentrate protein for byproduct recovery. Flash dryers, to reduce starch moisture to less than 14%. Sifting systems, 100 plus mesh nylon screens for impurity removal. Maize starch is used in the food industry, pharmaceutical industry, textile industry, paper industry, and fermentation feedstock. Sorbitol. Sorbitol is a type of carbohydrate. This ingredient is commonly used as a substitute in sugar-free foods and beverages. Hydrogenation of dextrose leads to sorbitol, a sugar alcohol widely used in pharmaceuticals, tablets, syrups, toothpaste, and cosmetics. The machinery needed are high-pressure autoclaves, hydrogenated glucose syrup at 40 to 50 bar. Catalyst recovery systems, separate nickel slash magnesium catalysts post-reaction. Ion exchange refiners, purify sorbitol syrup. Vacuum evaporators, concentrate syrup. Spray dryers, produces powdered sorbitol. It is widely used in industries such as the food and beverage industry, 
pharmaceutical industry, and cosmetics. Dextrose Dextrose, which is a form of glucose, is a simple ingredient that is derived from maize starch. Starch is hydrolyzed using enzymes or acids to produce dextrose, a simple sugar used in food, pharma, and four fluids. Machines are Jet cookers, liquefy starch using alpha amylase enzymes, HYZ, 6 type, 20 cubic meters capacity. Sacrification tanks, convert liquefied starch to glucose, Phi 3200 times 13500 tanks. Decolorization tanks, activated carbon treatment, ion exchange columns, remove residual impurities. Multi effect evaporators, concentrate glucose syrup. It is widely used in food and beverage industries, pharmaceutical industries, medical applications, and in fermentation. Liquid glucose Liquid glucose is a kind of glucose syrup, which is a clear liquid that is derived from the hydrolysis of maize starch or you can say from dextrose. Machine are same, as used in production of dextrose. There are several others but we will not be covering that here, if you want to know, you can reach out to us through our mail. Liquid glucose is used in many kinds of industries, such as the food industry, confectionery, pharmaceuticals and much more. Maltose dextrose Maltose, which is made of two glucose molecules, and dextrose. It is made by breaking down starch, mainly from maize, corn. Starch is hydrolyzed using enzymes or acids to produce dextrose, a simple sugar used in food, pharma, and four fluids. Further enzymatic treatment leads to maltose dextrose, which is widely used in brewing and food industries. For producing maltose dextrose you will need Specialized enzymatic reactors, use fungal enzymes for conversion. Chromatographic separators, isolate maltose from glucose streams. Crystallizers, for maltose dextrose solidification. Maltose dextrose is widely used in the food and beverage industry, baking, sports nutrition and fermentation. Lastly, you will also need different auxiliary systems throughout the process of producing all these products. They are, PLC controlled automation, for precision enzyme dosing, pH slash temperature regulation. Wastewater treatment, closed loop water recycling to reduce consumption. Boiler systems, steam generation for heating processes, packaging lines, bags for starch, drums slash tankers for syrups. Investment, profitability and government support. You might want to know what the investment cost will be to start this industry, if it will be profitable and if there is any government support. Small scale plant, 2 to 5 crore. Mediums large scale plant, 10 to 20 crore. Profitability. Return on investment 20 to 25% with break even in 3 to 4 years. MSME loans and subsidies for agro processing industries. Tax benefits under food and pharma processing policies. Export incentives for starch, sorbitol, and dextrose products. Opportunities if you will start processing maize products. Here's an overview of opportunities in processing maize products. Excipients. Maize starch is used as binders, disintegrants, and diluents in tablets and capsules. High-value derivatives, produce maltose syrup, maltodextrin, dextrose, and sorbitol for various pharma applications. Growing market, increasing demand for natural, cost-effective excipients in pharmaceuticals. Versatility, wide range of applications in different drug formulations. Quality focus, Meeting pharmaceutical grade standards can establish a strong market position. Key to success. Produce high quality, pharma grade maize products to meet industry demand. How we can help you. Are you ready to build the future? Let us assist your business with 30 plus years of experience. We help you with the preparation of risk detailed techno-economic feasibility reports. Machinery and raw material guidance. Market research and export potential analysis. Asterisk customized business plans for investors and startups. Along with other information for setting up new industries or businesses. For more details, you can contact the number or email given in the description box. Comment below if you have any questions, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more business ideas.